Hello and welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. This video tutorial is going to be about how to use the tar command to perform incremental backups. Incremental backups are a great way to save storage space and reduce backup times. And tar makes it easy to create incremental archives. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use tar to create incremental backups of your files and directories automate the backup task by creating a cron job and extract an archive file when you need to store your data let's get started the first step in performing the incremental backups with tar is to create an initial full backup of your files and directories to do this you will need to use the tar command with the hyphen cbgf options to create a compressed archive file and the dash dash list dash incremental option to specify the name of the index file that will keep track of the backup. Let's see how to take initial full backup with tar that serves as a foundation to create incremental backup. I have a directory named incremental bkp in my home directory with some text files. To show them to you, I change my current directory to the directory incremental bkp and list its contents. Here you can see 10 text files. Each file contains a line with the text of corresponding file number, such as file1.txt contains the line file1 and file8.txt contains the line with the text file8. I created this scenario for the purpose of demonstrating the incremental backup in this video uh, with the for loop statement as shown on the screen. Next, I switch to one step back directory from the current directory with cd dot dot and create a directory named backup in the slash tmp directory. This is where I will store my backup at least for this uh, video tutorial. Now with everything prerequisite ready, I am going to take full backup of the directory incremental bkp by running the command as shown on the screen. This command creates an initial backup archive of the directory named backup-1.tar.gz and an index file named backup.snar in the slash time slash backup directory. We can verify with ls space hyphen al space slash temp slash backup. Yes, we can see the initial backup or the full backup of the directory incremental bkp is now created and the index file as well next before creating the incremental backup i'm going to create a new file and write some text on it so that we can verify if the incremental backup is working or not for that i switch the current directory to the incremental bkp directory and run echo space double quotation start file 11 double quotation close space greater than symbol space file 11.txt verifying we can see the file is created and a text with its file number i switch back all the way to the home directory with just the cd command and start the step 2 which is to perform subsequent incremental backups once you have created an initial full backup you can perform subsequent incremental backups using the same tar command as before but this time specify the index file created in step 1 using the hyphen g option as shown on the screen this command creates an incremental backup archive named backup-2.tar.gz that includes only the files that have been added or modified since the last backup and updates the index file backup.snar with the changes. To verify, let's long list the contents of the directory slash temp slash backup. Here we can see a new backup file named backup-2.tar.gz stored on the directory which only includes the backup of the changes or modifications since the last backup. For further verification, let's jump into the directory and extract the new backup file using the command as shown on the screen. 
you can use the tar command with the hyphen x bf options to extract the files if we do ls space hyphen al we can see the directory incremental bkp and if you long list its contents you can see only one file that was modified in the directory since the last backup you can repeat step 2 and step 3 as many times as necessary to create additional incremental backups and extract them when you need to restore your data however you can automate the process of taking the incremental backup by creating a cron job and scheduling it to run every day at a certain period of time in the next step we will explore how to automate the process of taking incremental backups instead of performing them manually okay in this step first of all uh, i will test the command to take incremental backup and then only schedule to run the job at a specified time every day so for this i create a backup point directory then run the command as shown on the screen This command creates an incremental backup of the directory incremental bkp and saves it in a compressed file with a unique name based on the current date. The dash dash listed dash incremental option ensures that only new or modified files are included in the backup by referencing the previous backups backup.snar file. Upon hitting the enter key, it should have created an archive file in the slash backup directory. Let's verify. Here, we can see the two files created. The one is the backup file and the other is the index file. This shows that the command for creating an incremental backup on the given time date format is working. So let's move on and schedule it with cron tab. To list all the cron jobs in a Linux terminal, you can use the cron tab command with hyphen L option. Currently, there are no active jobs. Let's create one with the command as shown in the screen. I'm going to copy it so that it will save my time and yours too. Then let's edit the cron job file using cron tab command with the hyphen E option. Take the mouse cursor all the way to the last line and press O, O for orange key which takes you to the next line and the insert mode. Then type as I do on the screen. First I write a commented line and then only start the line for cron job here 0 space 0 space asterisk space asterisk space asterisk specifies that the command should be executed every day at midnight i'm also adding one more line just to test if the cron jobs are working this job runs every second to output cron job is working and logs it on the file slash temp slash cron dash test dot log one you can comment the line or remove the line after you are confident that your cron job is running just fine. Press the escape key and then type colon x to save and exit the file. That's all. Now your job to take the incremental backup will run automatically every day at 12 am. To verify if the cron job is working. We can cat the file slash temp slash cron dash test dot log one. We can see it's working. Now you can uncomment uh, the test job or remove that line using the cron tab space hyphen e command. Okay, friends, you now know how to use the tar command to perform incremental backups of your files and directories, how to extract them when you need to restore your data and how to automate the backup process. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.